The 2017 Audi SQ5 is a singularly important variant in the all-new second-generation Q5 lineup, not least of all because it's the Halo version, but it's also the first time we've seen a petrol engine under the bonnet, at least in this market. From 2009 to 2016 Audi notched up 24,000 sales of the Q5 in Australia, but the high-performance SQ5 was only introduced in 2013, yet still managed to find 4,100 willing buyers here. At its high point, the GoFast model represented a sizable 33% of all Q5s sold. Back then it was armed with a potent 3.0-liter biturbo diesel which made a solid 230 kilowatts of power and a bullish 650 newton meters of torque in regular guys, and 250 kilowatts slash 700 newton meters in the uprated Sport Plus version. It was quick, too, able to dispatch with the 0 to 100 kilometers per hour sprint in just 5.1 seconds. By way of comparison, its slightly smaller cousin. The Porsche Macan S diesel could only manage 6.3 seconds from the same 3.0-liter displacement. Midrange punch was particularly strong in the SQ5, intoxicating even, while even a light to medium throttle prod was all but sufficient for rounding up right lane hogs as well as safe high-speed overtakes on long-haul family jaunts. And it wasn't just the sheer go that offered excitement either, that was only half the fun. It sounded tough, too with a deep V8-style Rorty burble present at almost any revs, even when crawling along in peak hour. So why has Audi ditched the Biturbo TDI in favor of a petrol engine with less performance than the model it replaces? After all, high-performance models are generally quicker as each new generation comes along. It's a fair question, and the answer lies in the fact that Audi is clearly focused on its largest single market, the United States where diesels are almost non-existent in SUVs, particularly within the midsize segment. The SQ5 is also built south of the border in Mexico, significantly reducing transport costs and freight time to U.S. distribution centers. Easier to shift bigger volumes right from the factory to dealers. It also means Audi's power-hungry customers down under can have an SQ5 from day one of launch rather than waiting for a new generation diesel that's still to be officially confirmed by Audi. Worse still, buyers might decide to shop elsewhere. However, the petrol-only option remains a cause for concern, especially for those buyers entirely satisfied with their diesel-powered SQ5s and simply wishing to swap into a new generation model.